Welcome back to the channel. I am the humble gamer. Make sure to put God first in everything that you do. With that being said, let's say our prayer. Dear Lord, thank you for this opportunity to do something to your glory. I ask that you bless this session, not for my benefit and good, but for the benefit and good of those who are watching. Amen. And our scripture today comes from Ephesians chapter 1, verse 3 through 5, and it states, Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in the heavenly realms with every spiritual blessing in Christ. For he chose us in him before the creation of the world to be holy and blameless in his sight. In love, he predestined us for adoption to sonship through Jesus Christ in accordance with his pleasure and will. And that is Ephesians chapter 1 verses 3 through 5 of the New International Version. We are children of God, adopted into his family as his children. You know, normally if I watch movies that show the children of kings or the children of people with the high status, they are arrogant. Uh, selfish, mean to others they, they consider below them and generally don't feel like there should be any consequences for their actions. After all, they are the sons and daughters of people in prominence. Uh, that's what I see when I watch a lot of movies uh, with these uh, type of themes. But as children of God, God calls us to act differently. Instead of being arrogant, we are to be humble. Instead of being selfish, we are to be selfless putting others needs before our own. Instead of being mean to others we feel are below us, we are to love everyone and know that there is no one who is below or above us and we should treat everyone with the same love and respect. And instead of believing there should be no consequences for our actions, we believe that the consequences for our actions were death and God sent his son to die as a sacrifice for us to pay the debt that we owed. So let us live in forever gratitude, in honor and respect of the great gift that God has given us. The opportunity to be called his children and the right to collect our inheritance as his children in heaven. And we show our gratitude, our honor and respect and our worship for God by living the way that God wants us to live. The way Jesus, his son lived, a perfect example for us a perfect sacrifice for us. Amen. And we are back playing Movie Cinema Simulator. And uh, I did buy that Chapter 2 pack that I mentioned last time. Um, so the first thing that we are going to do is uh, update our cafe. There we go. <laughs> All right. And I do believe uh, one of the reasons, too, I'm playing this a little bit more often is um, I believe that chapter four may be the last chapter in the game. So I, I want to see it through and see what the final is. And one of the commenters mentioned that they had finished the game. And congratulations to you um, as well. And uh, they mentioned that the last boss fight is uh, in two phases and it, it's uh, quite hard. So I'm looking forward, forward to that as well. Uh, <laughs> so stay tuned, guys. You know that my, my fighting ability in this game is not that great. Um, but uh, I am going to give it uh, my all. Um, and... Um, We'll see just how far that I get. So let's see. We want to upgrade our donut fryer and our croissant oven. Or four. Uh, that's French for oven. Uh, our coffee machine. And let's upgrade our office as well. Everything is upgraded. All right, so we would have to unlock that. Not really concerned with that as much right now, but um, let's head back and take a look at what it looks like. Looks pretty nice. Let 
Okay. And I, I learned that I can also, but well, I learned in the last video, <laughs> you saw I didn't know I could put uh, chairs and tables back there. So before I shut down for the day, I'm going to add more tables and chairs. So let's go to uh, Toko General. Who had to like import the first chairs in and now just seems to just have them <laughs> just in the store. Um, so we will definitely buy. All right, I think I bought 10 more there. Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and drop them too. I, my my goal is when I when I um, open the cafe to um, the movie theater. Now that we got a cafe, I'm like, oh, the cafe. <laughs> but when I open the theater tomorrow, um, is that I can immediately just kind of like start and look at look at the places it can be placed. I wonder if you can set them back here, and people will eat back here on the sides. I don't know, but uh, we've got enough money now that if we just uh, spent a little bit trying to figure that out that it wouldn't be necessarily the worst thing in the world, so. I'm trying to drop these as close together, guys, as I possibly can, just so that I can uh, maximize our profits in this cafe. As you can see, I left like a lot of space like between here and there. So I could probably squeeze like another table in there. All right. How many more do I have? Just one? Okay. I'm going to go buy 10 more and um, see if I can uh, place them on the sides. Sorry about that, guys. I would have done that first <laughs> if I realized I was going to have that much space. Yep, excuse me. I wonder if our one employee could handle serving this many customers. The thing that I'm looking forward to the most to is probably the ability to uh, play 3D movies uh, once you finish chapter four. Uh, in Studio Five, that sounds like really interesting. I don't, I don't know if you guys remember if you've been following this series because this is like my 16th part. Um, but that was one of the things that I had mentioned. I was like, oh, these would be great if you know you could actually, you know, uh, sit here and watch like real movies. Um, I do enjoy the pictures too, though. By the way, all right. Drop that, drop that. Doesn't need to be perfect, just presentable. Um, okay, that's good enough for me for now. All right, we've got a ton of tables and chairs. Can I put them, hold on a second. It's still showing me, but I don't think you can actually get any in there i could move some things over but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna start lining them up on the side cafe table needs to be placed inside the cafe area okay so you can't do that <laughs> okay <laughs> all right um i think that might be it guys i don't think i can place any more tables or chairs and i happen to squeeze one in in here over there? no uh okay so what we'll do is 
move this one over a little bit. And then that should give us enough space to drop another one here. Any other place that has glaring, like can be moved energy? <laughs> I don't think so. I think we filled it up as much as possible. Uh, I don't know. We might be able to squeeze one here. Hold on. Let's move this over. All right there. I could probably get another one here. Yeah. I feel like I might be able to squeeze one more in here, guys. Hold on. There it was for like an instant. Like it's uh, turn green. Almost. Okay. I need to maybe move this one over just a tad. And then maybe it'll be easier to get this last one in here. There we go. Okay. We've really packed this area out, guys. <laughs> All right. I think I've got three more that I don't. Um, let's see if I can move this over. Could I possibly get one right here? Uh-oh. Hold on. There we go. Two more. No, can't get it there. But we could probably move this one over. We'll probably move this one over too. All right, and then move this one down. Sorry, guys, I know you did not come here to see me decorate, but I'm trying to do everything I can to get as many tables packed in here as I possibly can. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to get this one, though. OK. Could I move this? I don't think I can even move it down. I don't think that would help. But uh, we're good. We're good. Let me just go around one more time. Could I possibly turn these tables and like maybe? Oh, look at that. Look at that. I might be able to get a whole new row, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. I, I, I already know <laughs> that um, I'm probably trying your patience as it is, but uh, we're definitely going to see what it looks like tomorrow when um, everybody comes in. Let me make sure I change the movies. I don't remember if I did this or not. No, I didn't. Um, Kung Fu, Bottom Gun, Dylan and Fail Night at Freddy's. All right. So let's go to change movies. So we do have Kung Fu and Bottom Gun already in there and Dylan. Uh, oh, Dylan's already playing. So Kung Fu's in there already. Bottom Gun. OK, I did do it already then. OK. Let's take a look at our staff. It feels like their pay is going a lot quicker. Uh, Cause for a while there, I thought that I probably wouldn't have to pay <laughs> any of these people ever again. Um, but now it seems like time goes by like a lot quicker. But that's all right. We've got enough to to pay our staff. Now, hopefully, um, I'm hoping that with all these tables and chairs, that um, our money will go up very quickly, and then there will be no more need to um, replenish our LP. But we'll see. All right, let's get some sleep. We train. I've already practiced today. So we'll just get some sleep. Okay. Let's get our practice first. Our training, I should say.
Okay, look at the heavy string of people popping in. All right, let's talk. Morning, what's wrong? What? Rhodey is going to attack us. Oh no, we need to report this to the police right away. Well, we already tried that. It didn't work. <laughs> but after filling out the form yesterday, the police never contacted us again. It seems like the police are actually on Rhodey's side. It looks like we'll have to prepare ourselves for any attack that from that Rhodey. Ugh, I hate that Rhodey guy. I wonder how the movie's going, uh, Malif's movie. And also, can we get it and see it in theaters? That would be great. I'm going back here, guys. I just want to check out um, our cafe. Doesn't seem like anybody's come in yet. Oh, look, here comes some people. Come on, guys. Come on down to the cafe. <laughs> we got plenty of tables for everyone. Okay. So let's see what else is on our list for the day. Talk to Habat at night. So that's it. Okay. With that being the case, I, I guess I could simulate the day, guys. But let me tell you why I don't uh, necessarily want to do that. And while I probably won't for this video. Um, because uh, if you do that, I don't know if I will get closer to the end of the challenge um, as far as like um, you practice more than once a day. No, probably not. OK. <laughs> I was going to try to see if maybe uh, they allowed you to do that now. Seeing as how we're getting close to the end of the game, too, um, I might go ahead and start using some of these uh, crystals a little bit more. Um, not enough people in here. <laughs> I was hoping to fill the whole thing out, guys. Um, let me check in here. Let's check a look at our rating. We're getting very close. Um, and I wonder how fast this goes up. We've got three, six, seven, so eight, nine, ten. So ten is the all-star rating. Okay, so we're getting close. And did we have the movie? Yes, we did. Studio 4. Uh, we do have um, the hot movie, Kung Fu. Okay, popcorn is working. Drinks are working. Everything in the back is working. So we're all good there. I love movies. So do I. I love movies. You guys got a favorite movie? Let me know in the comments, too. All right, I leveled up, level 27. Thinking about trying to stash some more chairs back here. But since since we don't have like a, <laughs> everybody's not in here. I don't even know how these people are even getting into these seats. <laughs> but uh, since we have plenty of open spaces, I won't buy any more additional tables for now. Place is a well oral machine. Okay, I'm just looking around town, guys. See if there's anything that I um, want to buy. Snowman, Cobra statue, basic coffee tables, DVD player. I've already got a DVD player, and it only works inside of the um, inside of the theater. No. 
<laughs> I'm not even going to let him get uh, even close. Let's get a couple of, let's get a hanging board. Get a couple of those. All right, movie starting. Oh, okay, you gotta play some like right here. I wish they said something on them too, that would be cool. Oh wait, it says change text. Ah, bienvenue. Didn't realize you could change the text on those. That's pretty cool. Let's drop another one over here. I'll just say welcome. Bienvenue is a, uh, uh, it's like uh, French for welcome. I do like that. I didn't know. Um, you know, actually, I think it would be better if I had, like when you go to the theaters, normally what you see on these signs, let me see if I can change the text. Uh, we'll say studio um, one and uh, it's actually what two and three on this side. Yeah. Two and three. And that should be like right here, actually. Um, so I will move this down. Let me grab this. Yeah, this is perfect. This is where they go. Okay, so normally if you go to like theaters, they always direct you. They take your ticket um, and um, <clears throat> and then they'll point you to the left or right, like go this way, go that way. And then you're supposed to be able to look directly at the sign and then the sign tells you like, you know, which theaters are going to be down, which halls. So we're going to do that instead. I actually like that better. So let's move this. And let's change the text to uh, studio one. And four. Okay. Let's go in our office, check our computer. Getting very close to the next. Um, ratings weren't all that great. We got down to three, but we were getting like four earlier. So I'm not really sure how the ratings work. Okay, I might skip to the next showtime, guys. I know this is a, a like a long video to, uh, but you know what? I'll tell you what, let's go uh, check out some stuff. Maybe we'll um, go to the stores. I've got 422 crystals, guys. So if you think of something that can be bought with crystals, you want to see me buy, you have a place that you would like it to be set up. Just let me know. Um, I'll be more than happy to like purchase it and uh, put it somewhere. So um, 
yeah anything with the with the crystals you know as long as it's like reasonably priced because i don't want to burn through all of my crystals but i wouldn't be it wouldn't be an issue if it was uh, up to like um if i was taking requests and it came up to like 200 crystals so just something to keep in mind you got an idea nightstands let's go put it let's go buy this toilet Fancy sofa. We're not selling a lot of popcorn anymore, though. I noticed the popcorn sales seem to be down a bit. Well, let's bring down this toilet. Oh, no, the fryer's broken. They won't let me get out of this. I keep hitting the X and it's not working. There it goes. Finally. Um, no. <laughs> I got to run back. I'm not worried about the thug. That's what I've got security for. But we do need help with the fryer. I'm coming. Okay. Took care of that. Now I'm holding my toilet. <laughs> uh. What happened to all the customers? Okay, next showtime's about to start. All right, I'm going to go back and um, drop off this toilet. I might simulate the the uh, the last two so showtimes, guys. Um, push it forward because I don't uh, think that... Um, even though I that, that will hurt the, the popcorn sales, I think, um, it's all right. Because uh, I don't um, want you guys to have to sit through... No, the hot dog pan is broken. Can you use it? No, it's just uh, decoration. Okay. Now we got to hurry back to the, the, the cinema. But that's where we were going anyway, so. You see the smoke from here. Oh, I think it sent these people running from my cafe because that happened. I think. Can't be 100% certain. I just have to I just have to keep my uh, eyes on it. Yeah, look, the cinema's empty. Yeah, it sent all the customers running out. It took me too long to get back. Um, so that's on me. So let's see something here. Yeah, we haven't really served that much popcorn, so I'll just go ahead and simulate the last two. Um, I think you go to the ticket machine. Skip to next movie show time. You can only skip time to play the next scheduled movie. Okay. All right, does that mean the cinema's empty? Yeah. I 
I think that helps out more, uh, or I think that's um, that works out better if um, you maybe have like four seats in your cinema and like all the seats are taken and maybe you only have like two cinemas and then there's like, I can't take anybody else anyway, so I might as well just go ahead and uh, simulate the rest. So I think that helps more there, but that's fine. Like I'll take the hit today um, as far as uh, movie show times go, just so we can move the story along a little bit. Is this almost done? We're almost done. Yeah, empty theaters. It feels great to not have to clean though. Like that's a really big help. Now we just need um, someone to like man <laughs> the broken things. And this, uh, this will be almost completely automated. Still have some time going. I'm loving the rankings too that are obviously coming from the cafe. That was a 5.1 that we got. And that's the highest that I've seen for anything. Uh, I think the highest I've seen for movies is like four point something. Um, but yeah, five, an easy five point something for, for that. And there's a, another 5.1. Okay. Is it over? Almost. And look at the money coming to from. You know, 232. I saw like a 500 and something from the from the cafe. It's a lot of money to be made back there. OK, so that's the last show time, guys. I wonder where her bot's going to be. I don't know. So I, there's nowhere for me to go at the present moment. We've got to wait for this last show time. Maybe he'll be here and he'll ask about the cafe. Yeah, see, that's LP348. Another 5.1. This cafe is buzzing back here. I still did not need this many seats, though. <laughs> uh, what are the budget that people are playing LP? Well, it's LP, so I don't know what that translates to. Because um, 232 for a coffee, donut, and a croissant seems extremely high. And all these people just going to disappear or will the uh, does this place remain open? I mean, like there's still a lot of people back there in the cafe and, and look at our um, the movie showtime's almost over. So I'm, I'm going to go back there to take a look. Are they leaving? Because it has to be time to go at this point. Yeah, they just immediately leave at that point. Except for these two guys who are just like, I am staying and I'm finishing my coffee. <laughs> so I guess if they already have food uh, and drinks, they stay. If not, they will just automatically leave. There we go. Okay. Interesting. All right, so now we'll go and we will talk to Habat. I wish I stopped doing that. Clicking the wrong button. Oh, before we go, let's change our movies. This happens too sometimes, you know, where the camera will uh, become disoriented. Uh, ice cream, we have uh, Tilole. We have Sunrise, I don't think so, but Bottom Gun, we do. It looks like we have three of the four again. 
So let's change movies. We'll keep bottom gun where it is. Oh, we do have sunrise. Okay, cool. I don't really like putting a lot of these one star movies in uh, that's three one star because even if you do get uh, you hit on um, the hot movie, it doesn't give you as much like I think it gives you like 80 LP, but some of the four star movies will give you like close to that. Um, so to have to um, well, we'll talk to Habat and I'll, I'll get back to my point. Hi, boss. I want to check the condition of the cafe. So is everything okay? It certainly is. That's good. But how about that Rodi and Mian? Are they still planning something? Explain the situation. What? How horrible. Oh yeah, don't go berserk on them before they attack us first. And if anything happens, just call me, okay? I'll help you as fast as I can. I'll go home for now. See you. Okay, now we need to talk to talk. Right, great. It's still at night. Is he still in disguise? <laughs> Boss, it looks like I have to stop spying on Rhodey for a while. My identif identity has been revealed. It looks like they recognized me when we fought them. Go to sleep during sleep time. Alright, is that it? Okay. Talk to Malif, all right. I'm trying to get prepared for this fight that's that's coming. <laughs> you know it's coming. And it said Rhodey and his men, so you know that's gonna be more than one. Uh so Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, no. Look, our cinema is very dirty. There are graffitis everywhere. This must be the work of that roadie guy. What is his problem? Why does he use such childish methods? Oh, right, because my movie is almost completed. Starting tonight, I will disguise myself to find out more about that roadie guy. That's dangerous. Just let talk. It's okay. Talk identity has been revealed, so we can't keep asking him to do this. I will try my best not to get hurt, so please trust me. For now, I'll go back to shooting. See you tonight. How do we... Can we clean this? No! Oh, we can. Okay, great. Okay, we got to talk to Malif at night. Um, so I'm going to simulate this day as well in a second, guys. Because um, there's no point if there's no uh, task. Okay, I think from the computer I can simulate the day. Or it might be... Mm, it might be sleeping. Hold on. It might be going to sleep. You can simulate the day. But I think your theater gets really dirty, it said. But we've got a robot now, so I don't think that will be an issue. 
Sleeping during work time will make the cinema dirty and drain the staff's energy. Are you sure you wish to proceed? Okay. We'll, we'll try it out. We'll just see what it does to us. Okay. All right. First, let's take a look at what that did to our cinema. Okay, is our is our cinema dirty? Yeah, it's terrible. It looks terrible. Um, but we do have a robot for that, right? So is the robot taking care of it? Hold on. Oh wait, it said it would drain the staff's energy. So Okay. Does it drain it totally? Oh wow. It actually drains them 100%. Okay. Well, that's something to keep in mind. Sunrise, the Terminated Die, Easy, and King Foot. All right. So let's change this movie. Sunrise is already in. Put the Terminated. I don't think I have King Foot. Do you have Die Easy? And instead of Bottom Gun, we'll put in something. Oh, well, this is only 38. So it still does make sense to try to, to try to chase it. But what I meant by that is if you put in four movies that are like four stars, um, I'm wondering if you'll get more money by doing that than say, trying to chase the um, hot movie. Uh, but I don't know, I'm not sure. I would have to like do some calculations, but that's really not important right now. And the robot is working, right? Let me just check. Yeah, robot is cleaning up. Yep, you can see him already. Okay, great. So let's go ahead and um, Talk to Malif, okay? <laughs> Another disguise. Psst, it's me, Malif. How's my disguise? Perfect, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to spy on that roadie guy. See you. Don't worry, I'll be back before you know it. Okay. Got to talk to Habat during the day. Oh, I made a mistake. You know, if it's going to drain your staff's energy, like if you simulate a day, then it's probably best to just pay them for like 10 minutes. And then that way you will... Um, there won't be that much to drain as opposed to paying them the way that I did <laughs> all the way to the top. But I didn't think I would be having to simulate any any days. So it didn't dawn on me that that might happen again. I see him over there, but I know a big fight's coming. So I want to make sure that I am uh, trained up. The fitness center, you practice strength in. All right, pay. Same prompt as, as always. Okay. Talk to Habat. What is that? Boss, this letter arrived this morning. I've captured your sister. Ha ha ha. If you want your sister to be safe, you must follow my instructions. I will contact you soon. It's bad, boss. We have to act quickly. We have to go to and find your sister now before anything happens to her. I knew her going was a bad idea. Talk to Citizen. 
she she made this big deal about me fighting alone and that she would be mad if I did that. But she actually went in disguise and now has been captured. So let's talk to Citizen. No. Oh. Yo, what's up? Have you seen my little sister, Malief? No, why? What's wrong? She's been kidnapped. Oh, no, you should report it to the police. Go quickly before something happens. All right, let's go to the police station. Police. Good morning. Is there anything I help? Oh, it's you again. What can I do for you today? My little sister was kidnapped by Rodi and Mion. I thought you were being serious for a moment, but it turns out you're just lying again. I'm serious this time. Sure you are. So when was the last time you saw your little sister? Last night. What was she doing at the time? Why can't you answer? I knew you were lying. Get out of here and don't come back. All right. Talk to Habat at night. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and simulate again. As we're moving right along. Okay, Habat is probably back in front of the theater. Okay, I think those are the only two that I have that are, all right, and put in the running dead. There we go. Almost got that body build. Well, I don't know, because I don't know how they're going to release these, but we did move up a little bit in our cinema rating. Um, and like I said, I know I'm breezing through this, uh, guys, but I'm just trying to keep the story going. All right, let me go to the computer again. And for staff, let's just pay people for like 20 minutes. Then that, that way we're not blowing through like all our LP for nothing. Okay. All right. So what's on our list? Talk to Habat. Hey boss, any news on Malief? Found her yet? No. Oh no, what are you going to do? Boss, I'll go look for a boss Malief, okay? Be careful, talk. Yes, boss. I'll also try to find out more information about this. I'll be on my way now. Okay. What's next? Talk to Habat in the morning. And we'll train. Get the eye of the tiger, guys. <laughs> As we uh, try to build up. Um, okay, Habat's out here. Hit the gym up.
This might give us a couple extra hits when we get to the boss fight, which we, I don't know if we'll get to it in this video. I don't know how many of these scenes are left. Um, boss, hurry, a new letter has arrived. If you want your sister back, put LP 10,000 in the park tonight. If you do, I'll release your sister tomorrow morning. Oh no, I think we should try to do what it's what he says. I'm afraid if we don't, something bad will happen to Malif's sister. Malif's sister? All right. I thought Malif was missing. I got the whole story mixed up, guys. Put money in the park. That's at night, okay. So let's go ahead. I'll start by putting the money in the park. Go to sleep during sleep time. Can I do that now? All right, now I need to go to the cinema. I need to pay my workers too. This is more important than getting perfect ratings at the cinema, guys. Um, why are these people leaving? Try to go this way. Nobody working? Hold on. Probably nobody in the cinema. That's probably why. <laughs> There's no workers. All right. So things are happening. Um, I didn't get a chance to change the movies today, but that's okay. Um, let's take a look at the letter. Ha ha ha, I got you. I'm not going to release your sister. Ha ha ha. But thanks for the money. Talk to talk. I got to do that at night. All right. Um, okay. Okay, back at the house. Let's exercise. All right, let me make sure. Yeah, it's talk to talk at night. Normally talk is right here. So, uh, let's find out where he is this time. Oh, there he is. Oh, <laughs> we beat him to his spot. Boss, I found Boss Malif's location. She's at Rhodey Cinema. Let's go and save her now. All right, it looks like it's time. Let's get our bat out and um, let's bring down some of this food. Um, actually, 
let's put this at the end because th these give you a lot of health and I'm going to go and let's stock up on these. bring them down I'm trying to close it sometimes it just doesn't close which is making me a little nervous because I know how uh like hard this boss fight is going to be and you guys have heard me in, in in previous videos talk about sometimes the controls um uh don't um don't respond in the way that I want them to and I did see that too in some of the comments on the for the Android I don't know if it's for the iPhone or whatnot uh, this will probably be much easier with a controller but uh we're gonna make it work guys we're gonna do what we can <laughs> talk boss over here uh, hold on guys I'm, I'm getting myself prepared <laughs> all right this is roadie cinema according to the information I got yesterday boss Malif should be inside Let's go in quickly before something happens to Boss Malif. All right. Hmm. Rhodey Cinema is so big. We should split up, Boss, so we can search more quickly and effectively. I'll check the left side and you check the right side. Okay, Boss? Absolutely. Oh, they're telling me where to go. Did you find anything, boss? These are Malif's glasses. That means she's definitely here. I thought I heard something from inside this studio, but it's locked. Let's split up again and look for the key. I wonder why this cinema isn't open. Nice job, boss. Let's go in quick. Look at that. Finally, you're here. Come, child. Let me tell you an old story. Long ago, your god, your grandfather and I were such good friends. We were inseparable. Maybe I should like try for an older voice. When I lost my job, your grandfather offered me a position at his cinema. At first, I was very grateful and happy to work there. But over time, I started to loathe him. Why was he so successful? Why I was just an unappreciated employee at his cinema? Then one day, there's an offer to open a new cinema branch. I knew that if your grandfather accepted that offer, he would be even more successful. And I couldn't accept that. So I took that offer in his deed. Ha 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 ha. But strangely, your grandfather didn't fight me back. Why did he let me take the offer just like that? And strangely enough, your grandfather's cinema was still crowded. Why? My cinema was way better. So I sent people over to gossip about his cinema being filthy. And it seemed to work because more customers began to come to my cinema. But that wasn't enough. Tax like that wouldn't be enough to defeat him. So I had an idea. I sent him one of my men. He acted as a spy, and he gave me all the information about your grandfather's cinema. I just had to make everything with a cheaper price. And finally, your grandfather's cinema lost almost all its customers and were forced to shut down. I finally defeated him. <laughs> so when you and your sister decided to reopen the cinema, I had no choice but to repeat the history, right? Come here. Whoa, 700. No, none of that. Oh.
Sorry, guys, if I'm not talking much, I'm trying to concentrate. Oh! Don't power up! No! <laughs> No! Ha <laughs> ha You thought you've won? I'm always gonna be one step ahead of you, kid. What? <laughs> I told you be careful with the people you accept, because they can trap you. Sorry, boss. Are you kidding me? The double cross? Talk, why? Since the beginning, Talk was my man. He spied on you by becoming a beggar in front of your cinema, but you employ him instead. Thank you for making my job easier. You thought he was on your side? I'm the one who told him to spy on me and Mion, all according to my plan. <laughs> oh dear, why are you so gullible? Come Talk, let's beat this kid up. Wait, whoa. They're all gonna power up? I can't move. Oh. oh, he got me there for real. Why isn't he swinging the bat? Swing the bat! I can't move. Ugh. Oh, they're both powering up. Oh, I should have used that time to, to drop my bat and um to power up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Talk, how could you? Got him. Nice block. Oh, wow. Hands up, don't move. You again, you're taking matters into your own hands now? Come, you're going to jail. Wait, they're not the culprit. The real culprit is that old man. He told his men to threaten and beat me. If it wasn't for the boss, I don't know I'll be standing here with you. Don't interfere. Police, take that man away. Wait, I know you won't believe me, sir, but I recorded everything. Please watch this. What? Rody, how is that possible? All this time, how long has he been tricking us? I apologize for not believing you, and thank you for this evidence. We will take this to the office for further investigation. You take Rody and his men back to the office, and you guys come with us to explain everything. 
one day later. Morning. Did you sleep well? Finally, that roadie is dealt with. The interview yesterday was quite long and tiring, wasn't it? Oh yeah, let's go to the cinema. They said there's something waiting for us. I can't wait to see it. All right, let's go to the cinema. But first, uh, let's do some training. We've practiced today. What? Thought it was a new morning. I guess it's like a game morning. So, <laughs> like in the game, a game morning. All right. We got to go to cinema. Still got to serve popcorn. All right, let's get going. Still can beat her there. <laughs> oh, maybe all the way in the back. Studio five. Relief. Surprise. <laughs> as an apology from the police, we are allowed to take home the 3D studio equipment from Rhodey Cinema. And as for the room, of course, it was renovated by Habat. Habat is really amazing. His work is always neat and smooth. Oh, you're too kind, pretty miss. Oh, yeah, because we lost one employee, it seems like I will be working here from now on. Till we find a new employee, of course. If it's okay, I'd like to work here too, boss, so I can stay close to the pretty miss. Um, <laughs> just kidding, boss. Oh, yeah, how were you together with the police, Abat? Actually, I was a little suspicious of a talk, boss, but did he know that Malif was kidnapped? When the first letter arrived, it was only the two of us. So just in case, I went to the police station, and as it turned out, talk was indeed betraying us. Wow, Habat is so smart. Thank you. If it wasn't for Habat, something would have happened to us. Right, sis? Yes, thank you, Habat. Hey, <laughs> you're too kind, pretty miss. Well, since it seems like you're, you're safe now, I'll be going back home. No, you can come in and, and do renovations and, like, help out. Like, I'm down for him helping. If anything happens, just call me, boss. Thank you so much, Habat. Doesn't feel real, does it, that our cinema has become this big? From a rundown building to having employees and even a cafe area. And now we have a 3D studio. And after going through so much, I still can't believe how big our cinema has become. It seems like we finally managed to restore Grandpa's cinema to its former glory. I hope Grandpa can see it and be happy too. There we go, guys. Thank you for playing Movie Cinema Simulator. And it's giving you all the people who was in it. This was a really fun game. I am going to... Um, I think you can you can do something with the cinema itself, like renovate it um, even further. And I do want to I want to show a 3D movie and I want to go back and complete the complete the Royale challenge. Um, but, yeah, I, I definitely had fun. Um, I uh, apologize if you if uh, you didn't want to see me simulate days or whatnot, but I really wanted to keep the story uh, moving. It, it really felt like we were getting close to the end. Um, I did not see uh, the talk betrayal happening, but maybe if I play other games in the series, um, <laughs> like maybe there'll be clues um, uh, to certain people doing certain things. Uh, but I really did in enjoy this. And um, yeah, looking forward to the next game and go back to play some of the old ones um, as well. After these credits roll, I'm going to see if I can go back. Looks like the buildings on the other side, too, have disappeared. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. My movie is completed. Finally, I can play my own movie in Grandpa Cinema. Uh, I mean, our cinema. Don't forget to put that up later, okay? <laughs> okay, then, I'll go back to work. Once again, thank you for your help. Let's keep up the good work. All right. Bioscope Simulator. And we got our reward. Okay. Oh, I was wondering, I was like, why is this poster on the door? And now I remember it's on the door because before this area was nothing. And now it's something. So let's move it. 
off the door. Okay. Is it nighttime? Wow, look at some of these people's work. It's like negative one. <laughs> All right, we'll just get everybody up to about 100 minutes. We don't have to simulate any more days. We finished. We definitely need t -Burr. Okay. All right, Studio 5, let's go ahead. All right, 20 seats in Cinema 5. That's crazy. Um, I'm definitely going to look forward to that. Okay, so in Studio 5, we're putting uh, Bioscope Simulator. Select. Okay, I think I'll leave everything else as it is. That looks like the only ones that we have. Let me check the news. Yeah, because we don't have Kingfoot yet. Um, Okay, I want to check something, guys. All right, we'll see what it looks like tomorrow. I figured I might as well bring these down and eat them <laughs> because uh, I don't think I'll get a chance to. Uh... No. Okay, that's good enough for now. We don't have any more big fights coming up, so we are good. All right, brand new day. I don't even know why I'm training, <laughs> but I figure I'll do it anyway. Um, it's just become routine and habit now. So now we just have Real's challenge to do. Um, we're still on popcorn, which is, I think, two of three. After this, I think there is drinks. Um, oh, wait. Like I said, guys, I know this doesn't make a lot of sense to keep practicing. But, um, yeah. Welcome to Fitness Center. Here you can practice to strengthen yourself, but this is not free. All right. I don't know why I read that, too, as, as many times as we've seen that already. Uh, so let's go ahead. All right. We still got plenty of time before the show time, so I'm not really concerned about that right now, but we are going to head there now. So. I want to see what uh, theater five looks like. Oh, wait, I need to change the sign now. It's two, three and five. 
change text. Wow. This looks really nice. Really nice. This is huge. Okay. What happened to his shirt? All right. Well, we'll get to that later. Um, so, yeah, I want to see what that movie looks like before I end this video. And we've got a while to go. So guys, tell me, did you really enjoy this game? Um, I really did. Uh, and I'm I'm also happy um, that it has an end because you play a lot of these games. Uh, you guys see me play a lot of games on this channel and a lot of them don't have an end. So there's really never like a, a good place to like stop. You just kind of just, you know, at some point you go, okay, well, I've played this for, you know, maybe 20 hours. That's good enough or something like that. Uh, or they just keep adding more and more to the story. But I do like, I, and I enjoy games like that as well. Don't get me wrong. I play quite a few of them. But um, I also enjoy games that do have an end, that do have a, uh, a stopping point and go, hey, we're done. You know, we've told our story and uh, we'll see you for the next, uh, the next game. I enjoy games like that as well. And it's refreshing to see that because you don't see them a lot in the Google Play Store. Um, a lot of times, especially original games, like sometimes like uh, uh, games that are ports, from you know console games you know obviously those ones do have an end but i'm talking about games that are that are uh in the android store that are um for you know for android or whatnot even though i i believe this game i think it's on steam if i'm not mistaken i'll have to look that up don't quote me on that um all right we got a lot of people back here But yeah, I definitely really enjoyed this. Get more popcorn. Don't stay, hey, sir, sir, come back for the popcorn. <laughs> All right, we still have a little bit of time before showtime. Um, wait, I want to check the cameras too for theater five. Look at that. That looks really nice. All right, guys, I guess I'll just go sit in theater five. Oh, let me make sure I paid everybody. Okay, bodybuilders are unlocked now. So we did get bodybuilders unlocked and now we just need Sultan and Buff Sultan and that will be the last ones. Um, and yes, I will play this uh, until I get um, the the buff Sultans unlocked as well. But more importantly, the challenges. Um, it, I, I probably will play this until I complete all of the challenges. So I probably won't go for the Sultan buff Sultan if it takes a long time um, because you'll just be letting the days just run. Um, Oh, that's what I was doing. I was like, I know I was doing something. I was seeing if everybody's been paid. Yeah, everybody's in a good place uh, pay-wise. All right, so how long do we have before the movie starts? Okay, just a few more minutes. Let's take our seat in the back. You know, I actually do have a pair of 3D glasses. I cannot tell you where they are right now, but. Um... I know that uh, I have to check. I'll check for them because this is obviously in 3D. 
this is really cool guys this is really cool um i'm glad they added this element If they decide to do a, like a sequel to this, what I would love to see, um, even if the movies can't, can't have sound, if they would just put like an actual video as, as opposed to the pictures and just have a video and let it run uh, for all these different, you know, movies or whatnot. Um, just little short clips. That would be that would be great as well. So I'm going to sit in here through the entire um, picture just in case you guys do have uh the 3d glasses so you can just watch it um it's only like gonna be like two minutes i want to experience this too like i want to get um i don't know if they've got if technology has has uh progressed to this point but i would love to like watch a movie in the cinema in like vr I think that would be really cool. And then you can simulate. I remember seeing it in a Star Trek episode um, where I think it was, was it Jordy? This is Star Trek Next Generation, by the way. Um, I can't remember. No, what? I don't think it was Jordy. It was somebody else. But uh, they simulated a movie theater and then like they simulated the people and whatnot and like the atmosphere that they wanted. Oh, it was. Oh, what is his name? Um... And it wasn't Star Trek uh, Next Generation. It was Voyager. Um, it'll come to me, guys. I know Bellana was his um, girlfriend at the time, wife uh, later on. Um, It was uh, Lieutenant Tom Paris. So Lieutenant Tom Paris had simulated um, like this movie theater environment with uh, his girlfriend at the time, Lieutenant Bellana Torres. But but Alana, but Alana Torres. Yes, that's what it was. Um, and um, then somebody actually gets like murdered in the theater or whatnot, things of that nature. It was like um, a mystery for that particular episode. But it was really good, and I was like, man, this would be really cool. Um, so we're leaving the theater, theater guys, having watched the film. Look at this guy. I like that. Order all the things. <laughs> Order everything. Yeah, that, I, I love this. I love this. We've got, the, we've got the cafe in the back, but people still, you know, can get stuff here like hot dogs and uh, fries and um, popcorn drinks, burgers. And then, then if you want croissant uh, or donuts uh, or uh, what else are we serving back here? Coffee. You can come back here as well. It's like we're competing against ourselves. That must be the bodybuilder because I don't think I've seen um, this character before. Can I serve people too? I, w I wonder. Hold on. Anybody want a croissant? Yeah. Yeah, I can serve people too. Okay, that's cool. And she wants a coffee. No! <laughs> I'm taking your coffee. Oh, wait. There it is. So I do remember something about if the sprinklers come on, that people will vacate your cinema and that's it for you. So um, I'm just now remembering that. Uh, so that's why everybody kind of uh, rolled out on me. Why is everything breaking now? 
right. Okay, let's check how close we are to the popcorn. It's probably still a ways. Oh, 419. Not bad. 421 now. So we probably will do uh, the rest of the popcorn and um, and then we'll start uh, the drinks. But uh, we won't do that, obviously, in this video. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this game. I love this theater. I really do. This is really cool. Really cool. Oh, is that packed? Dun, dun. Yeah. All right, let me see. Let me check up one other thing. And uh, go to computer. Yeah, it takes a while to get this rating up, um, as you can see here. All right, and... I mean, this cinema is a well oiled machine right now. They don't really need me. Um, but I think since the cinema was the um, the name of the game, if you will. Um, I think we should end the video in the cinema. Um, I think that would be best. Right behind the counter where we first started. This is where we, we, we started selling uh, tickets on the machine. I don't know why it keeps doing that. Uh, yeah, it keeps doing it each and every time. But this is our cinema. You guys saw it. Uh, but yeah, I thank you guys for joining me. I am I am thinking too. I'm like, should I combine all of these videos <laughs> and just put them all together uh, for someone who wants to see um, the game from the beginning to the end? But I really do want to complete all of the quests before I do something like that. So, and I don't know how long it'll take me to sell 750 drinks. Uh, just depends. Uh, drinks don't really seem to go as fast. Uh, but I, if they count coffee, though, we may get there. I don't know. But um, guys, I really do thank you uh, for joining me for this entire series. Uh, your your support has been exceptional. Um, it's been way more than I thought that it ever could be. And um, yeah, I thank I thank you guys for all the support, all the comments that have come in, all the help, um, and like I said, all the encouragement. And uh, it's been very overwhelming. I thank God for you. Um, I pray for you guys, uh, everyone who is on this channel. And um, I just want to say thank you and take the moment to say thank you now that we are here at the end of the game. So I thank you again for joining me. I hope you guys are having a blessed day and a blessed week. And remember, God loves you. And so do I. And I'll see you on the next video.